Welcome to your latest video weather briefing from the National Weather Service office in San Diego. For this video, we'll take a look at a late season storm, another one to bring precipitation and wind to the region. Look for strong winds in the mountains and desert slopes later this week, then also widespread showers and even isolated thunderstorms for the end of the week, May 8th. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist at the National Weather Service. Here's a look at the satellite imagery on May 5th. During the morning hours, you can see what we refer to as a very deep marine layer. It's all the way inland, and you can see just the mountain peaks sticking out, such as Palomar Mountain in San Diego County. This deep marine layer will be persistent through most of this week. It'll give way to a little bit of partial clearing in the afternoons. Here's the weather pattern that will drive a storm system through our region. The jet stream will carve across California and dive southward into Southern California, as shown here, before exiting on Saturday morning. This will bring a strong cold front through our region on Friday morning. We can expect most of our precipitation during Friday morning. Now, compared to our last storm on April 25th, this system is a little bit stronger as shown here as it goes a little bit further south bringing that coldest air right across our northern regions before it exits. What kind of precipitation totals are we expecting? Well this is the general coverage area the heaviest mounts in the blue and green so all areas including the Inland Empire and coastal regions will see relatively significant precipitation of a quarter inch to locally around a half inch. Our mountain slopes will see amounts of a half inch to an inch and locally higher than an inch in the most favorable areas where those strong westerly winds ride up the mountain slopes. Again, most of this precipitation will be late Thursday night and on Friday. Most organized precipitation will be Friday morning. And the winds that will accompany this storm are shown here. It'll be locally windy across our region. The primary winds starting Wednesday night, continuing Thursday and increasing on Thursday all the way into Friday morning will be over our desert areas as shown here. The areas in yellow will see widespread gusts of 40 to 50 miles per hour. In our wind prone regions across the mountain passes such as Highway 78, Interstate 8 and Interstate 10, those red shaded areas winds will gust around 60 miles per hour. There'll be some impact because of these winds, so please plan accordingly for this late season storm. Here's a summary of what we expect. Deep marine layer cloud cover will be persistent through Thursday. This will keep it moist and cool across most of the region outside the deserts. Coastal slope and coastal drizzle through Thursday as well. Just patchy on and off drizzle expected with that deep marine layer. Increasing winds Wednesday night and Thursday for the passes in the desert slopes as the storm system approaches. Main precipitation late Thursday night and Friday morning. Those are the amounts. Most areas will see around two tenths of an inch to a half inch. But note the western slopes of the mountains where the strong winds bank up and force that precipitation to be squeezed out will be locally greater than an inch. Also note a chance of thunderstorms for our northern areas on Friday. That will also produce locally heavier rainfall up near the Cajon and San Gregorio Pass and possibly the high deserts. We do expect partly cloudy conditions but cool on Saturday. That's the day of the Weather Fest at the National Weather Service. What is the Weather Fest? Here's a flyer for the upcoming event on Saturday, May 9th. This is open all to the public. And it's free of charge. There will be numerous events going on. Some of the attractions will be the emergency vehicles and emergency communication system. For the kids, there will be games and there will be prizes. And also for the kids, Ali Skywarn will be present. That's the National Weather Service mascot. This is an all-hazards preparedness expo. So we'll also have information for the public on preparing for wildfires, tsunamis, and other type of hazards including earthquakes. Come check us out. If you can't make it, we'll also be on social media, NWS Fest 15. Hope to see you there. 
As a reminder, here are some links to check out for the latest weather hazards. Latest weather hazards found at top. And you also check us out on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, this is on YouTube. Thanks for joining.